Howdy y'all, Fast Force 289, welcome back. And this one, I'm gonna give you a little quick tip. Let's go crawl up underneath my car and I'll show you what I found. All right, so we'll go underneath the car. Yeah. <clears throat> I jacked the car up to do some other things. And I've already fixed it. I should have done a video on it, but my camera was uh, charging whenever I was getting everything set up to record the next video. And uh, I found this backed off like up to here. This was all loose. This was pulled back. This was pulled back. This nut was loose back here. The inner collar in here was loose. It weren't lined up and uh, yeah, that could have been catastrophic. Now, <laughs> this side is still good. Now this is the original bar that came in the car. This one I replaced. That guy from CJ Pony Parts or somewhere like that. Uh, Cause they're the same as a Mustang. But I ordered this cause the original one was so chewed up when I replaced the front end on this car. I had to use an impact to get it off and work it. It was stuck so hard I had to take an impact and work back and forth, tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen until finally it came off and it chewed the threads so I just ordered another one. But yeah, uh, it's always, this is a good tip to show you that it's always good to get underneath your car and every once in a while and take a look at stuff because you never know what you might find. was not expecting to find that and I ended up finding that. Uh, I didn't get finding me another nut to put on here for a jam nut, but for now I just put this, this one in there uh the alignment shop i thought they would have put one in there but they didn't and i i forgot to but i put one in there now so i won't lose the nut and i don't blame the alignment shop for this but yeah because it's been it was aligned like a year ago so but anyway yeah and i got this one here they don't thread the new ones either by the way for a nut i don't know why but the original was had a nut or a thread that you could put a nut on here with a a uh a carter key but yeah Always look for stuff. You never know what you might find. Also, I want to point out that when I tighten all this back up, uh, you probably need to go to the alignment shop. What I did, I just took a measurement since this one hadn't moved. Uh, and all this does control your caster. So it's not a super big deal. And to a point, the more caster you have, the better handling you have to a point. But you want them even. So what I did is I just took some measurements. I measured based off of this bolt here to the found a spot on the frame to measure to. I got 24 and a quarter here, so I just copied over here. Got 24 and a quarter. I took a measurement from back here on this lip to uh, the center of this bolt. And also I measured from the center of this up to this as well, just to give me some different measurements on each side to make sure that I, I matched it up properly. Yeah, there, there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you. I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you all that. Uh, I caught up underneath here and was like, oh, what the hell? So yeah, yeah, I've noticed the car's been pulling a little bit to the right too, a little bit when I stop or certain times. That's probably why. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got that taken care of. I don't blame the, like I said, I don't blame the alignment shop. They do great work. Uh, it's probably that new bar. Things aren't made as good as they used to be. Let's just face it. I need to get another nut for a jam nut. It, it probably just worked loose, you know, vibrated loose. I'm gonna just keep a check on that now until I get another nut for it from time to time. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all for watching as always. Thank you for taking, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.